Hi guys, I just wanted to show you how you would access your SAT prep on Khan Academy. So if you go to Khan Academy, you want to log in with your Google uh, email, just like you would sign in with your um, Chromebook, and your name should appear there. Okay. And then when you are in Khan Academy, you can always click this to get to your homepage. Your homepage might look a little different than mine just because I'm on the teacher view. Okay. But on this left hand corner, you go to courses, you click down, and then if you go, they move some stuff around on me here. If we go all the way down here to SAT prep or test prep and then SAT, we're going to go ahead and click that. Okay. And you're going to come to this page, okay? And this gives us a lot of overview on SAT things, okay? So you can look at your test scores here and some other things. Miss Richards will cover how to see your test score, but we want to go to this practice button up here, okay? And you'll notice that it's purple here and it says reading. But we want to go, if we click all the way over here, we want to go to math, okay? Because obviously we're practicing for math class, okay? And you can kind of see on here that for linear and exponential growth, okay, because I've practiced some of these, we have these puzzle pieces, okay? The more puzzle pieces I have filled in, the better I am at that subject, okay? So once your test scores are uploaded, it's going to base that on questions you've already answered on your PSAT scores. So like I'm about halfway there, okay? So when you scroll down, you can see all these different examples, okay? So you can see here, I've done really well on solving linear equations and linear inequalities, okay? I have all my puzzle pieces in, okay? But when you do this, when you see one of these, like solving linear equations and linear inequalities, you guys have practiced that. You can get some practice examples and some harder examples, but you click the practice button, okay? And you're gonna solve for this equation, okay? So sometimes they're a little bit harder than you think, okay? But remember, it is multiple choice, so you can plug in some numbers and see what you're getting for some of these things, okay? And then you can go back and you can practice these. And then Khan Academy records how much time you are spending on these practice problems, okay? So part of our challenge is that you will practice 15 minutes a week and you will get a grade for that, two points a week, just like homework, okay? And you don't necessarily have to get, be getting the problems right. We just want you exposed to the problems, okay? And some of these that you can work on are solving linear equations, interpreting linear functions, linear equation word problems, linear inequality word problems. You can do some of those. Graphing linear equations, that's what we just kind of covered. Linear function word problems you can probably work on. I would not do any systems yet because we haven't practiced that. Okay. I definitely would not do anything with Passport to Advanced Mathematics right now because we haven't covered that yet. Okay, But we will soon. And then you can always go down to the problem solving and data analysis. These are things that you've worked on for a long time as you were younger. Um, so scatter plots, table data units, rates, ratio, proportions, so on and so forth. Okay. And then there's some additional ones. Um, this type, type of stuff isn't covered a ton, but you can go through it. You can definitely do the volume word problems, um, maybe some right triangle, but a lot more of this you're going to learn in geometry. Okay. And some in algebra too. I hope that helps. And if you have questions, feel free to let me know. Have a great day. Bye.